Hey Virgo, welcome back to the weekend. Yes, it's the weekend. I'm going to do your reading here. Take a look and see what the energies are. January 19th through the 21st. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. And if you want to get a personal reading with me, there is a link in the description box for reduced phone call readings going forward. So definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the coffees that you guys have purchased for me. I am super, super grateful for that. All right, so let's get into this and see what messages are coming up here for you for the weekend. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right. Wow. 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 Oh my goodness. Okay. So Virgo, you're starting with love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Very beautiful. You also have I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming fun flirting someone wants to date you virgo over this weekend oh expect a love call someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know and also wow this is amazing cupid's arrows have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting a little bit of hesitation okay nice virgo so it looks like um hmm love is on tap for the weekend virgo and who doesn't love love okay who doesn't love a little bit of love a little bit of affection a little bit of attention we can see what's happening here what's coming up um and they just said to say all that self-love that you're giving to yourself right um that unconditional love that you're giving to yourself is paying off i just heard so i don't know what you've been doing if you've been doing some cool stuff for yourself or making yourself happy and all that stuff there's going to be some flirting um someone wants to date somebody's going to reach out um be hopeful virgo about your love life right now we're just talking about love over this weekend okay be helpful or hopeful about your love life okay so you have strengths so that could be a leo but you know it's an energy it doesn't necessarily mean it's a it's a leo but we do have leo all right let's see what else is going on here someone's getting up some courage what Ten of Cups. Oh, wow, Virgo. Um, someone's getting up some courage to make that phone call, give you that love call, tell you how they feel. Um, okay, Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. Yep. Let's see. Ooh, what else? Okay, yeah. There's someone here that's a wee bit <laughs> insecure, a little bit insecure, which explains why strength is here because it looks like they're getting up the courage to overcome their i don't know maybe awkwardness to reach out to you ask you for a date or if you want to start dating that kind of energy okay they might feel a little bit trapped okay so queen of wands so there's your court card so it looks like it's gonna be or could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius we have double leo here so for some of you it could be a leo let's see someone's like really yep there's temperance so sagittarius okay oh this is divine timing this is a divine this yes a divine connection a divine connection so is it somebody new don't know for some of you, you could be reuniting with someone this is very social so I'm thinking that's like a social event or um, uh, getting together. This is a reunion for some of you. It could be someone that you already know or you're already acquainted with in some way. Um, there's definitely getting together over the weekend, doing something fun, um, just or having drinks. Um, can you might meet somebody if you, or you might connect with them through friends. You might have mutuals. Um, or it might be like a, a group, a bunch of people going out, uh, connecting there, that kind of energy. Here's the two of wands. Wow, this is awesome. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I feel like uh, it's connected to some mutuals or a friend. Now that could be you, the King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, or somebody else as well. Um, you could also be on the cusp of Leo Virgo as well i feel like that comes up a lot so let's see it looks like um mostly you're you're gonna get a call you're, you're gonna get a message you're gonna hear from someone 
either they tell you they've liked you for a long time or they still like they really have a thing cupid's arrow is a little bit of a crush um there is an energy of someone just telling you how they feel about you or how they felt about you and even possibly asking you on a date or to get together as well okay so it's lovely energy um now if it's if it's a fire sign this person has like they're typically very confident you know and self-assured but with that eight of swords i feel like sitting on the love call card it feels like there's hesitation which is what that says there with the love call card so this person their hesitation like they pick up the phone they either type the message or they put your phone number um and then they wait they stop for a minute because something comes over them like oh maybe i shouldn't maybe i'll be rejected you know all the typical stuff maybe this person won't respond maybe i'll make a fool of myself but they do it they go ahead and do it so the little bit of hesitation i i don't know why you need to know that because if you get the call or the text i think you won't know that this person hesitates but their hesitation is something that makes them f have a little bit of fear which is odd if it's a fire sign okay and even so much if it's um an earth sign as well um because with the king of pentacles in the upright generally this person is pretty logical and doesn't let their fears drive them let's see what is causing this person to really hesitate why do they like what is the deal oh they just said um they view you like you're some kind of star <laughs> You know, so they might be a little intimidated or feel a little awkward to say what they're going to say or to reach out. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's confirmation of that. The Six of Wands. So this person, so the, the Six of Wands energy is kind of like somebody who gets a lot of attention or um, has a lot of um, support around them. A lot of people kind of, that's like praise, recognition, and even with the star, meaning like maybe a superstar or someone who's... Uh, has, is a public figure has some local fame or even you might be one of those virgos who's you know high level fame i don't know who's listening or watching i've had a few celebrities reach out to me in the past so you never know so um but either way if you're not in that energy of a star-like figure um they're hoping that you will uh, recognize them okay they might be like a fan of yours uh, so actual fan yeah sure because i know that the, the last reading we had was something about you becoming famous possibly um well not possibly definitely but possibly some of you so they may be an actual fan or they may be someone who um it's just like hey you know i've always been a big fan of yours as in just general you know what i mean not not for any other reason but yeah this person so that kind of holds them back a little bit why because they might see you in a higher level than them or be more like uh, someone who's like it's intimidating in some way there is aquarius energy there as well so let me see yeah but i feel like because of some type of confidence level this person typically has they're gonna do it why because of the nine of cups you are a wish come true for them now if you know who this person is leave a comment please or in the in the uh live chat if you want if you if you're like yeah i know who this person is and yes this is me or the, yes this is the reading um that would really help but yeah there's go this person you're just like oh that's the wish card and I feel like they're kind of like, oh gosh, I really hope Virgo responds. I hope Virgo, I don't make a fool of myself. I hope they don't just dismiss me because I'm not. Yeah, I don't know if they, they have low self-esteem. And I don't feel like that. It, it just feels like a bit of nervous energy where they get that zap of um, low self-confidence hits them when it comes to you. Okay, so <laughs> Virgo. You're captivating, aren't you, Virgo? You know you are. You know you are, to some degree. I don't care, even on your worst day. Yeah, look, there's you, the Empress. You're like the Queen of Queens, King of Kings. 
beautiful, handsome, well-dressed, nurturing, compassionate, care for others. It's very like Adele vibes they just gave me, and I've never seen that. It is Taurus, and I believe Adele is a Taurus. Um, very earthy, down-to-earth, Mother Nature kind of energy, um, like, but with that Venus. So um, very loving and, lo and a lovely type of a person they view you as. Yep. Look, there's a Queen of Pentacles. Okay. We might have somebody, too, um, on the cusp of Virgo Libra as well. Look at this. Wow. This person, I feel like they look at you as, um, why are you single? If you're single. Okay. Like, why are you single? You are, you are like, why are you on your own? <laughs> Because I feel like this person looks at you as if like all those things I described about the Empress, but also very down to earth, independent, you know, and um, luxurious in some way, you know, even if it's just one way, I don't care if you just, you lost your license and you're riding a bike around town. You just have a little something, you have a little something about you and at least that's how they view you. Okay. So yeah, it's like, why are you, I don't know if you're single or not, for, I assume you are, if you're on your own. Um, they, if you are, and they know this, it's like astounding to them. It's astounding to them. Why you're not like swooped up by anybody. But of course, with the Queen of Pentacles and, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, that's kind of an energy, you might be, um, maybe you've had children in your past or you have them now. You might be a single mother. Um, finances might be very important to you at this time in your life, your career, things like that. Um, and you might just be that single Virgo, if you are, that's just like, you know what, I'm, I don't need somebody to support me. I could do it myself. I would love to have someone in my life, but you might be very selective and, you know, you're a little analytical and a, a bit picky there. Okay. So this person's been keeping their eye on you. They've been watching you. Um, there's definitely, they're curious about you. Um, they really do like you. They want to get to know you more. Um, oh, wow, Virgo. This whole weekend, I feel like you are definitely going to hear from somebody. Okay. Um, now, is it somebody you want to hear from? I don't know. It could be. It could be someone that you already have a connection with. And for others, it might not be. It might just be somebody new that kind of is like, whoa, because this can be a new love situation. Okay. Um, so it might be someone that is just like, hey, thank you. But I, I just feel the need to tell you. Let me, I want to take a look at you specifically over this weekend to see what's going on with you. Like what you're up to, how you're feeling, what you're doing. Okay, so you have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. All right, and the Seven of Swords. It looks like, Virgo, you're not available this weekend. Hmm. So you're either working or studying or doing or building something. You, you seem to me to be a bit preoccupied over this weekend with your own stuff, which, hey, doesn't surprise me. Whatever your own stuff is, Virgo, I feel like you are... Um, you're busy. <laughs> you're busy this weekend. So what's that mean? You might get asked out over this weekend. Um, or someone, you might connect with someone over the weekend and then they want to see you the next day. You're like, no, I got to wash my hair. <laughs> or you, you just seem a, a bit distracted. Like you're not available. Running, you run, you got to go. I got to run. That's kind of your energy. I'm working on something. I have a project. I'm working this weekend. I, I've got stuff to do, right? Um, Yeah, you know, some of you might be working on something this weekend and it's going to take a while for you to get paid. I just heard. But I also feel like, um, but you're open to reconnecting at a later time. Okay. Yes, you are. All right. So, you know, I, Virgo, look at you. Look at you. That's you. That's Virgo. I don't, you're busy. I don't even care what it is. Maybe you have a job. You work over the weekend. Maybe you're going to shovel all that snow, depending where you live. Um, you're building. You're working. You have a deadline. You're trying to push out some stuff here. Um, if you're doing crafting or you, you have orders that you have to fulfill or you're, you know, I don't know. You're building something. You're very busy. I see you being very busy. And that's fine. Be busy, Virgo. Do your thing. 
okay? Um, definitely, you'll get the communication and you'll definitely think about it and maybe take a rain check, I just heard. Take a rain check for a later time, okay? Over this weekend, yeah, you got too much. You got a lot on your plate. Or you didn't sleep good, you need to go home and get some rest as well. Or you're just burnt out um, from the work week or just you're on your last day at work. Or some, some of you I know might have like long shifts and or you've worked long um, hours or days in a row. Um, yeah, I think that's what's happening for you this weekend. But, you know, perhaps if you are just doing the drudge work this weekend and you hear from someone tells you that, you know, hey... I'm really into you. I really like you. I hope we can get together. I feel like this is a, a nice opportunity. I, I feel like to tell you, if this comes up, do take the rain check. Definitely. Or do make plans with this person. We do have uh, Gemini energy here. Do make plans with this person for next time. Um, because I feel like someone here is really, you know, Cupid's arrows is hitting. Someone here is pretty much interested. One more card, please. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The devil. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is someone who, um, mm, super, super attracted to you. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's a lot of physical attraction going on. Uh, let's try to see if we can get specifically um, a sign. If there's any other signs showing up here. All right. Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries. Anyone else for Virgo? Okay, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer. If that doesn't resonate for you, don't worry. That doesn't mean it's not your sign. Let's get some Chinese signs. I haven't pulled those in a while. Let's see if we can figure out Chinese sign of this person showing up. And also there's Capricorn energy, I said. Okay, and it could be, this could be you as well. So take it as it resonates. Year of the horse, year of the rooster, year of the rat. Year of the Monkey. We have Rooster again. Year of the Dragon. And we're actually in the Year of the Dragon right now. The Wood Dragon. Year of the Goat. Year of the Pig. And Year of the Ox. Okay. If you don't know your Chinese sign, you could just Google it. All you have to do is put in Chinese Zodiac sign for and put the year of your birth. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a couple extra things here. Let's see. What else do you have? Messages of love. Fate. This is a destined partnership. Wow, Virgo. That's why they're telling me to tell you to make sure you don't renege on this um, with this person. Because it looks like you, this is a fated, destined occurrence with someone. Encounter. Right? Right? Could be somebody you already know. Could be somebody new coming in. Um, take them up on the offer. Even if you don't know this person and you're just like, eh, you know, you, you feel maybe you're not interested or something. They're saying this is, this is the person for you. Okay. Look. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Okay, for some of you, you already know who this is and for others. And listen, I am, this is very general, this message I'm giving. So you need to take the message and then discern for yourself. If you know who this person is and they're, it's toxic and it's not good for you and you know that for a fact, then you need to not, you know, heed the message here. All right. And I feel like that's a caveat and I feel like I need to say that. If you already know, I'm not ever endorsing anyone to go back to unhealthy relationships okay especially if it's someone that you already have a connection with that's no good but there is longing someone secretly longing for you virgo so it's this person it's not someone it's this person they either have been longing for you for a really long time or they just have this once or they, they like it it's like they see you or they meet you or they connect with you and they're just like oh Virgo's it. Virgo's who I want to be with. I want to get to know Virgo. Okay. I like this. It looks like a cute, fun uh, love reading for the weekend. Let me get a couple more messages for you guys. Okay. What else does Virgo need to know for this weekend? Okay. Ooh. Committed love relationship. Look at how my cards are getting sold. 
yes, this is on the cards for the weekend. I was hoping to see if anybody, anything else would show up um, apart from love, but it looks like they just want to talk about love. Cupid's arrows again, love messages coming in, some travel involved too. Let's see what else. Could be traveling over this weekend, which is why you're not available too. All right, what else here? Oh, you've got a highly logical male. So it's either you or this person's coming in, which does feel like this is someone who is uh, brainy, very brainy. You know, they're 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 very. They don't run. They don't make decisions by their emotions. They make decisions. They're very practical, logical type of a person. Okay. Let's see what else you have. Ooh, okay, so good. Good news about money. So that's coming in over the weekend as well. And I told you, like, you may be working really hard and you, you're trying to um, either get a bonus or there's um, it's going to be a little bit about uh, for the money to come in is what I'm hearing, but it's going to come in, definitely. There's going to be good news. So if there's some money that you're trying to get a hold of or you, you have to wait, no, it's coming in. You may hear about that over the weekend. It's coming in. Wow, you also have positive vibes. So a message here for you, Virgo. Go out in the sun. Get some vitamin D. Play with your kids. Go to a playground. Swim in the sea. Go sledding. Snowball fight. Play, by, play, play, play. Do something fun and enjoy your life. The energies are strong and powerful, and all of the world is your play place. Just love your life. I love your messages for this weekend, Virgo. They're so, so positive. You know, somebody left a comment on my channel here under one of my videos that they didn't like the reading and they didn't like, it was, I can't verbatim, but it was basically the essence of the messages. All of the readings lately have been very positive and I don't like that. They said they didn't like all the positivity, the positive messages. I'm just like, huh? Like, huh? I don't know. I guess some people just want to be miserable and I'm just not going to enable that. If positive messages come out, it's not like I pick and choose them. If positive messages come out, then they come out. And if you don't like it, don't complain. If you like who the who does that? I mean, I understand I, I don't think my messages are 100% like we're not living in la la land here, but honestly, sometimes it's tough, you know? Sometimes the reads are tough. So anyway, if you want to be miserable, go watch the news or just go fight with someone on x i don't really care it's not my problem and you also have there you go love offer so you are virgo definitely going to be receiving a love offer okay let's get into some let's get in and see if we can get some initials and all that good stuff okay some all right mm, march okay um march you might have a connection to a Pisces, I just heard. There might be a connection to a Pisces for some of you. Okay. We have the letter A. We have the letter F. Someone is 56. Let's see what else. Okay. Someone is 40. Someone is either 64 or born in 64. Someone is 52. Okay. We have the letter E. All right. I just heard Faye. Someone's name might be Faye or a nickname is Faye. Okay, someone is 30. Oh, the letter A is here again. And, ooh, someone is 20. Hello and welcome. If you are a youngin, great to have you. And for all the new subscribers, just want to say hello and welcome. Welcome. Uh, for subscribe, welcome to my channel and thank you for subscribing if you're a new subscriber. All right, we have the letter H, 1979. Someone is 68 or born in 68. December, uh, Sagittarius energy I'm picking up there, and someone is 32. And let's see, do we have any other? I'm just trying to get a, like actual names here. Hold on, hold on, you guys. Actual names. Let's see if we can put some names together here. Okay. Hmm. All right, I heard Ralph, Rupert. Okay, Ralph, Rupert. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're giving me names here. Ruel. Mm. Marty. I just heard Marty. Someone's in Peru or going to Peru or just came back from Peru. Um, Martha. So we have the initial M. We have R. Initial U. I. H. And P. Okay. Let's get a charm. All right. Let's see. Weekend. Weekend. I know we're getting a massive snow. Well, so they're saying, but we'll say it'd probably be like two inches. Two inches is fine with me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. So you do have, oh, very pretty. So you have a feather. Very nice. So if you see a feather over this weekend, or if you've recently seen a feather just all by itself, that's an angel message. This reading is meant for you. And it also means that you are, your angels are letting you know, or that you have a guardian angel that's watching over you. Okay. Any other charms for Virgo? Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't with this, with this reading. You have love. This whole reading is love. <laughs> and a little bit of money. But yeah, this whole reading is love. So um, somebody's going to get like a nice big Valentine's box of chocolates. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Um, or maybe you wear a heart necklace that says love. Or you have a heart necklace that you wear. Or you gift one. Or you may be gifted one. Um, this is so pretty. I'm also hearing um, an heirloom. Uh, a love charm or a necklace or something, an heirloom or a piece of jewelry that was passed down or was gifted to you that was gifted to someone else and given to you, like a, um, you know, like passed down through family, that kind of thing. Um, is there anything else I'm forgetting? No, I think that's it. I'm very excited for you for your weekend as far as love goes. And I truly hope that something amazing happens for you this weekend, Virgo, because you deserve it. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be appreciated, supported. I hope that you find that and that finds you this weekend. And yeah, don't forget personal reading. The link is in the description box below. You can get a text reading with me. We just text or we can talk on the phone. Okay, so I do have discounted readings and I've reduced my prices only because, you know, the world just wants to keep jacking up prices and then people can't afford it. And I feel like if we just if we just reduce our prices or stop raising them, um, everybody will have to follow suit. You know what I mean? So definitely discounted. Go check it out. And um, it's actually like $50 off. Yeah, so 51 to be specific. All right, you guys, thanks for being in the chat. Hello, everyone in the chat, all the regulars. And hello to all the mods. Thank you, you guys, for always being here for me and the channel. And thank you for subscribing. Please do hit the subscribe button if you have haven't yet and hit the like button on the way out that will help me get the reading up and out to more people so yeah take care love you if you get snow have a great snow weekend all right love you bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye